Hello and welcome. Today in this video we're going to show you how to de-squeeze your footage taken with the Moondog Labs anamorphic lens. Now this is not my idea. This is H. O. Rogerio. This is his idea and uh, let me show you how to do it using Kingmaster. It's for free. Let's get started right now. Here is when you want to create a new project. So let's create a new project and then the aspect ratio that you're looking for is this 2, 3, 5 by 1. So let's click on that. And then we're okay. So now we're in the editing screen. The other thing you want to do is you want to go to your asset store. Now, what you want to do is you want to click on the top icon here, go to your asset store. You want to click on effects and you want to go to transforms. Now, the one that you want to do is transforms. And from here, you're going to install transforms. Okay. So we can go back. I already installed it on mine, so let's just go back. Okay, so now we're on the timeline, and what you want to do is now you have your footage. You see how it's got the bars on the side, so you want to go to Layer. Okay, under Layer, you want to go to Effects. Then you want to go to Transforms, and then you want to pick the first one, which is Perspective 1. Put your finger on the top on the bottom square, and then fill it so that it fits the screen. Okay? Now the next thing you want to do is extend it out for the duration of your scene. Okay. So now it's at the duration of your scene. You're going to click OK. Now the other thing you need to do is you want to go into the settings cock wheel, which is here. You're going to tap on that. And you're going to leave the first two at zero and you're going to extend the X. So let's extend the X to 38. So leave it at 38, that's the right size. Let's uh, hit OK. Now let's play back your footage now. Now as you can see, now it's the widescreen format, it's the proper format, and that's how you do it. Now you can just export this out, and then you're ready to go. All right, let's uh, go to the video and show you how it looked like before and then after. All right, guys, thanks so much. Let me know if this was valuable to you. And give me a thumbs up and a comment if you know of a different way or a better way to do it. I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.